Russia's lone aircraft carrier is headed back to the shipyard for repairs until September. Here's a summary of the article. The Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov will be docked in April for repairs and refitting, according to a Russian state media report. According to the current plan the aircraft carrier will enter a dock for repairs at the 35th plant in April. The repairs will last till September, a defense industry source told TASS, a Russian state news outlet on Tuesday. Russia's sole aircraft carrier, Admiral Kuznetsov, was introduced in 1991 but did not become fully operational until the mid-1990s. The carrier served in Russia's northern fleet through the mid to late 2010s, deploying to the Mediterranean to support operations during Russia's intervention in the Syrian civil war in 2016. Kuznetsov met disaster in 2018 when a 70-ton crane smashed through the carrier's hull and caused its PD-50 dry dock to sink. Russian and Western experts have surmised that it may be a more prudent long-term investment, if not potentially cheaper, to scrap Kuznetsov and build a new light aircraft carrier in its place. Others have questioned whether or not Russia needs an aircraft carrier in the first place, arguing that post-Soviet Russia is a land power that does not necessarily need tools of global maritime power projection. This post received a score of 44,000, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Be a damn shame if it somehow caught fire again. Yes. Just after the repairments. From that photo I'm not sure that thing can be repaired. Looks like an ancient rusty piece of junk like all other Russian equipment. Even before the dry dock accident and the fire, Kuznetsov was a hot mess. You didn't need radar to detect her, just look for the giant column of black greasy smoke. She had to be accompanied by tugs as she sailed because of how often her engines kept breaking down. Is ancient tradition of people who take to sea. Russian Navy wants enemy to know we're there. Actual statement from Russian official. Although it's not what happens with Russia's carrier, generally carrier group locations are known, because they are a political projection of power. It's why the US has so many. We can roll into the neighborhood and it says, hey, anybody within thousands of miles, behave yourself. True. Though you don? Do you want to be a partially floating embarrassment like Russia? S Navy has become. Greater than partially floating embarrassment how TF did you know my nickname from swim class? Everyone remembers how you invaded that sovereign country. So embarrassing. Corruption has destroyed Russia. That is the best explanation I. They heard. Billions were poured into modernization of the military but the money evaporated before anything was done with it. Nobody was prepared to tell Putin that they had stolen the money rather than using it for the upgrades, so Putin went in thinking he had the latest and greatest? Apocryphal but plausible. Modernizing and maintaining their nuclear arsenal and associated long-range launchers too. High-end aircraft that might attract export attention but aren't being built in massive quantities. Instead of spending it on things like equipment for ground troops or maintenance of equipment and troops. Edit. TLDR in Reddit terms. Russia specked into the mage class but took up melee combat. With sanctions in place, I doubt they'll be able to access spare parts needed for repairs. This ship is a write-off, and Russia does not have economic muscle to build another one. Also building an aircraft carrier, even with the USA's level of resources, takes five years. It would take Russia a decade to build another one. Or more. Didn't it take roughly 13 years to build this one? More if you count the tugboats that provide its propulsion. Ouch. That's upwards to $1 billion in burn damage. Better go back to the dock for repairs. Fun fact. Kuznetsov, S engines are total garbage. Old, worn out, ETC. Thing is, Russia lacks the manufacturing and technical know-how to replace them. Would anyone like to venture a guess as to where they were made to begin with? Ukraine. In fact, the whole thing was built in Ukraine. So, perhaps this whole Ukrainian excursion is just a way for the Russians to repair their garbage flagship. At this point, the whole operation is such a Charlie Foxtrot that I would be less than shocked if that was the real motivation. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.